Have you ever asked yourself, why am I getting all this email? Your inbox is flooded with useless junk mail. 21,356 emails. Two of them are real. Today we're going to talk about how to cloak your email address that's displayed on your web page or your WordPress blogs or any type of blog. The purpose display your email for your real website visitors, giving them access to you and your services. That's why you're on the web, right? You're going to learn to avoid spam, beat the email spiders. Create productive business time for real business or play. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a pretty simple process. You'll be amazed at how simple it is. So uh, we're going to cloak the email address today um, to avoid the, uh, uh, the spam spiders, the email spiders, uh, to avoid spam. And as you can see, I'm in a WordPress blog. This is where we're going to uh, populate it with the code that we're going to generate. Mouse clicks and we generate it. Okay, this is what it looks like now, right here. It's not clickable. Okay, it's just a text. So what we want to do is uh, basically we're going to uh, go back to the um, uh, WordPress blog, and there's two tabs here: visual and HTML. We want to make sure we're in HTML, so we can populate the code. And the web email cloaker. Okay, it's a nifty little program. I mean, I've used this on many, many, many sites. I haven't donated to these guys. I think it's a pretty good program. So and you can get that at acme-web-design.info. It's right there. As you can see, this is clickable. Um, this is not. Actually, it takes you there anyway. That's kind of cool. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to put an email address in here. Okay. I'm going to use the Java code. There's uh, two ways of doing this, HTML or Java. I'm going to do the Java. I click on the folder button to copy it to my clipboard. I make sure I'm in HTML. I populate the code right here. And there's probably going to be some little editing we're going to do in a little bit here, but that's okay. And then um, I'm going to preview it. And just so you know, over here there's a preview button. That's what I'm going to use. And preview in the page that we had earlier. See right there, it's clickable. A little bit of editing that we have to do here, which is fine. Uh, I'll show you how we're going to do that. See how the code kind of uh, put the exclamation point down at the bottom? And go, please contact me and drop this down. We can fix that pretty easily, so let's do that. So we're going to go back here. We're still in HTML. want to make sure that we are next to the at one space. We're going to push the delete button until that uh, caret script gets up there. We're going to go down to the bottom here. Same thing. Uh, let's see. Yep, yeah, we want to. No, we don't want a space this time because it's an exclamation point. It's ending that statement. So we're going to push, put the cursor right after the caret right there, and then we're going to just push the delete button until the exclamation point is there. Okay, I'm going to hit the uh, preview button I showed you a little bit ago, and there you go, a clickable email link, and it works. It's a great way to avoid the, the email spiders and the spam, uh, the spammers, basically. So you click on that, pulls up my email client, and there you go. Test emailaddress.com. Quick and simple, and I have this uh, code on my page all over the place. Very effective. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.